Hey y'all, the girls with a passion for boys and bumps are back. Can I get a bump? Crazy things are happening in the doll world right now because the impossible seems to have come true. Listings for new Mycene dolls have popped up on Amazon. Now I have to preface this video that this is all just hypothetically speaking. It's not set in stone. It's not even guaranteed that these listings are actually true. They might be false, who knows. But I thought it would be very interesting to make a video and talk about how this release is significant in terms of Mattel's plan for the next year, how it might affect brats, and what we can possibly expect from the release in terms of the dots themselves. So let's dive right in. So three listings for three Mycene dots have popped up on Amazon. They are titled as Mycene Collector dots. The collector releases of the main three original Mycene girls, Barbie, Madison, as well as Chelsea. They all have a estimated MSRP price of $40. And we have no idea what these dolls are supposed to be like. What I personally think is the most um, probable thing is that these could be reproductions of the original first wave that also consisted of Barbie, Madison, as well as Chelsea. Meta has shown us that they are pretty good at doing reproductions and in terms of price tag, it's also probable that these might be reproductions because Meta has kept the prices for their reproductions in a more fair range. The creep productions of Monster High, for example, or also their collector Barbie reproductions like Fashion Photo PJ or the Superstar Barbies, etc. etc. I have price tags that are in a range where I'm like, okay, this is very probable price for this product in this day and age, inflation adjusted. And since Barbie Extra has been canned and there won't be any new Barbie the movie dots the next year, and I'm also thinking that Barbie Rewind is probably cancelled as well. I'm not sure if that line is continuing. There's a huge gaping hole in terms of Barbie budget that can be invested in something new. And why not that be new Mycene dolls? What's interesting is that, of course, Mycene is not popping up just because. It's not because it's a passion project for Mita to create new Mycene dolls. It's of course to just fan the flames of the long-lasting feud between Mycene as well as Bratz. I think Mattel knows things about MGA's plans for Bratz next year that all of us don't. And that also leads me to believe that the Bratz comeback that MGA is planning might be even more elaborate and big than we all expect and anticipate, which is why Mattel might be shook to the core. And that's why they dusted off the old Mycene IP and thought, you know what, we have to bring them out. Maybe one last time, we have to bring them out nonetheless. What I hope for this release is that the quality would be just as identical to my scene doors of yesteryear. I hope that there won't be any corners cut. What would also be a pleasant surprise for me would be new my scene doors that my thesis about this being reproductions would be wrong and we are getting brand new spanking designs for Barbie, Madison and Chelsea. It seems like Mattel has kept this under wraps. All of the plans for this Mycene comeback must have been sealed. In this day and age of leaks and rumor mill, I think what the past couple of years have illustrated to us that seemingly everything leaks these days and Mattel having been able to keep this comeback under wraps is pretty significant in terms of how important it might be for Mattel. Getting this off the ground must have been a huge undertaking if you think about it because Mattel has never really taken my scene as an intellectual property series but then again as we do not have a guarantee about these listings being 100% true or false. Take all of this with a grain of salt, of course. Now let's just spitball about some ideas about what these dolls could be like, because I've read a lot of people are hoping for this to be an introduction into a new generation for my scene, a reboot, a reimagining of my scene as a brand new doll line. So then what can we expect? Maybe a new logo for my scene? Not really nostalgia baiting, but really going through what 
my scene could be like in this day and age. There's a ton of talk and a ton of memes about how the click of the my scene door line seems to act out in a way that's not very age appropriate, or at least deemed not age appropriate in today's standards. So there's a danger of them maybe diluting what made my scene so special because to me it just was kind of like a glimpse into how our lives were in the early 2000s. I remember myself and my friends when we were 15 we were forging IDs to get into clubs as 16 year olds so it's not really all that uncommon. Maybe uncommon to a lot of young people nowadays. I hope that they keep the essence of the doll brand intact revamp it maybe for a new generation if these are not reproductions breathe new life into it but respect my scene as a doll brand and respect the releases of my scene back in the day now what could be this collector release too you know there's also maybe a probability but i'm just like guessing around here that mattel might fuse my scene in monster high and finally give us those dolls that we all saw in images, those prototypes of the original Draculaura, Claudine and Frankie Stein dolls, where Chelsea, Bobby and Madison are dressed are those, but it could be a possibility that's very low in terms of probability, so maybe somewhere in the 0.01%. So as I had elaborated in a previous video, Bobby Extra just evaporating means that there's an opening in terms of door line for seven plus year old demographic. It doesn't seem that my scene has the cultural relevance that Bratz had, so, so I do believe that Mattel focuses on the demographic of people who grew up during that time and ended up wanting to repurchase those dolls. So I'm really sure that this release is a strictly collector, strictly adult-oriented or kid-adult-oriented. So I do not have the feeling that this could branch out in a playline comeback for my scene in the way that Bretz is just all over Walmart and Target shelves. I think my scene releases like this might probably be focused on being online releases and releases that are maybe um, very limited in terms of quantities similar to the real drama monster high or crew production monster high dolls so if they pop up on metal creations i think you have to be very quick to snag them up or they're gone in the blink of an eye i also would love to hear what you think is about to happen in terms of this listing that just came out of the blue in terms of having mycene dots have a comeback how the fight between mycene and breads is gonna be ending up this time around and whether Steffi loves my style it's gonna make a comeback too As if. if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and i might be seeing you in my next video bye for now